Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to deliver your December 2016 general readings. I continue to use the Gilded Tarot deck by artist Ciro Marchetti, drawing eight cards for the month, two cards for each week with an additional crowning card from the bottom of the deck representing your overall energy and advice for the reading. These are general readings, as we have to say, because there are so many of you watching and everybody's so different and has many different things going on with their lives. So, of course, they're not going to uh, resonate the same for everyone who watches. Uh, so make sure to check your rising and your moon sign as well, if you know them and if you can. You may find that they play out a little more predictably for you this month in this reading. Uh, but you may find, like I do, that watching all three gives you different glimpses of what's going on in your life in different areas of your life. So that by watching all three of them together, you get a more whole and cohesive picture um, of the time frame ahead that the reading covers. It's just a helpful thing always to watch all three of your signs if you can. Thank you. Always a note of gratitude before we begin for those of you who continue to watch and follow so faithfully. Uh, thank you so very much for all your support and feedback and your comments. I love reading the comments. You guys are brilliant at them. I read all of them. I particularly enjoy the ones where you describe how the readings actually play out uh, in your life. Um, love them all. Keep them coming. Thank you uh, to those of you who continue to reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It is a pleasure and an all honor always to read for you. And I'm grateful and thankful for the trust that you place in me to interpret and intuit the cards for you. And thank you to my regular clients as well for allowing me to be such an ongoing part of your life as it continues to unfold. And and if any of you are interested in a personal reading with me or for anyone else, I'm already getting a lot of requests for gift readings. Gift readings are a wonderfully unique uh, thing to give family and friends and loved ones, uh, particularly during the holidays, uh, because of course no two will be the same. So again, if you're interested in a reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, you can click on the about sign on my YouTube channel's homepage which will give you a little more information and detail and my email address. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to do a reading with you or for somebody else. And uh, so if you send me an email, we can go from there. I do readings full time, six days a week. So I'm able to get back with you quite quickly and set up a reading within a fairly timely fashion. My current turnaround time is anywhere from a couple of days upwards of a couple of weeks, but almost always within two weeks, we can schedule something for you. So send me an email and we will do that. So moving right along, this reading is for Libra for December 2016. What does the month of December hold for the air sign of Libra? Libra, December 2016. What do they need to know? What do they need to see to successfully navigate through the month of December 2016? Libra, Libra, December 2016, Libra. Okay, <clears throat> we begin with Justice, followed by the Queen of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups, followed by the King of Swords. The World card, followed by the Seven of Wands. And the Six of Swords, followed by the Eight of Cups. From the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and advice is strength. I like this reading for you, Libra. Let me just take a quick look. Yeah, whatever it is going on with you, Libra, you are going to see the truth of it, uh, even though I feel like for some of you, somebody's trying to fool you or put some kind of illusion in front of you but you see through it with the beautiful air sign inherent qualities that you already possess, end up triumphing over it and moving away from it. It looks like a lot of you are gonna be leaving something behind as well. A situation, an offer, a relationship, it's gonna vary, of course, the specifics from person to person, uh, but you're gonna come through everything just fine this month. So let's begin. We find ourselves at the beginning of December, 2016 with the major arcana card of justice followed by the Queen of Wands. 
So justice, this is the reap what you sow card. What you put into something is exactly what you're going to get out of it. So of course, the cautionary advice that goes along with this card is to be as transparent as possible and to proceed through whatever the situation is with as much uh, trust and honor and integrity as possible. Uh, this does represent uh, any kind of conflicts or litigations or business deals or, or negotiations uh, working out in your favor to your advantage, but that they will be fair um, because it's dependent on the energies that are put into it, the proven facts, information, logic, and motivation that goes into it is exactly what's going to come out of it. And in the upright position, it is a strong indication, Libra, that you, whatever is going to be the result of what this represents for you is going to work in your favor. Um, I feel like for some of you, it's a vindication thing. I got this for one other sign too yesterday. I don't remember who it was, but there's a sense of being vindicated, of wrongs being righted or the truth coming out um, in your favor. So justice is paired with the queen of wands. So wands is fire energy and wands is a very dynamic suit. It's change, movement, action, power, um, creating, building, manifesting energy. It's, it's because it's governed by the element of fire. It's very action oriented, very dynamic and very fluid and forward moving. Kings and queens represent individuals who've mastered their suit. So this would be somebody who's um, Somebody who's kind of at the top of her game, a real go-getter, somebody very fiery, very passionate. Uh, she doesn't tend to rest on her laurels very long, very assertive. Um, once she makes up her mind about something, she immediately acts on it. Uh, probably fairly uh, dynamic, fairly charismatic. People are probably drawn to her. I say her because she's showing up as a queen, but it could uh, be a king as well because this is a general reading. Um, this could be the energies that um, you are manifesting through this uh, Libra or being asked to manifest. This is a very assertive, decisive energy. Um, it, it could also in the negative side represent somebody who's um, perhaps controlling, uh, overly aggressive, somewhat fanatical and obsessive, um, somebody who perhaps uh, tries to manipulate people to get what she wants or get what she wants them to do. Um, now, for some of you, again, this could be energy that you are manifesting through this or being asked to manifest through this. For some, more of you, though, I feel like for the larger part of you, this represents somebody that you're in, that's you're involved with in a situation and in, in a situation with where there's some conflictive or negative energies. Uh, for some of you, paired with a justice card, it could represent legal issues you're having with this Queen of Wands individual. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, so somebody who just strongly manifests the character traits of the Queen of Wands. Um, it could be somebody you're in legal issues with, you're suing or s who's suing you in some kind of litigation or settlement issue. Um, it could just be somebody that you're having conflict with. I feel like for some of you, this Queen of Wands individual, male or female, fire sign or not, has, I think for some of you, you've been, she's accused you of something or said you did or said something that you didn't do or took it out of context somehow. Um, for some of you, I think a smaller portion of you, this is somebody that you're in dealings with or you're negotiating with. This could be in business, career, a work situation, or a business deal of some kind. For some of you, you're in negotiations and there's, it's a little conflictive. There's some haggling back and forth. Um, for some of you, this could be somebody you're in a relationship with, a personal relationship with, uh, whether it's love and romance or friendship or a family member of some kind. I'm getting that for some of you, this is a boss. Um, it, the energy feels, again, kind of uh, conflictive. For some of you, it's outright you against them or that's the energy. Uh, there's some kind of split and you're fighting for something. Uh, it could be against this person and it could be somebody that you're partnering with in something else um, where you're seeking justice or resolution or um, completion of negotiations of some kind. It's going to play out differently, but the end result is that it's going to work in your favor. Justice is going to be served and it is going to be fair. Now, next to that, we have the energy of the Seven of Cups paired with the King of Swords. I feel like you need to be careful with this energy on uh, the Seven of Cups because it feels like somebody's trying to distract you or put up a lot of different possible possibilities that aren't really 
that are illusionary that aren't really fact-based. I don't know why I'm getting this, but that's what I'm getting. So the seven of cups, cups is a uh, water energy. Cups is the suit that rules the area of our life that deals with feelings, emotions, relationships, love, all different kinds of relationships and all different kinds of love. The seven of cups is a card sometimes a fantasy and illusion. It can represent distraction, daydreaming. Each of these seven cups represents the potential of something, but they're all beautifully uh, perfect, um, almost impossibly perfect. It's, all, it's, it's sometimes the card of, uh, you know, um, of, of something being too good to be true. Um, too many options. They all look perfect. They all look impossibly beautiful. And again, I'm getting that for a lot of you for some of you for whom you're this is a conflict against someone or a lawsuit or litigation or some kind of argument some kind of split or rift i feel like somebody's throwing up kind of a smoke screen or trying to distract you or um offer you something that isn't really reality based or or is not what they it's they're presenting something to be one thing when in fact it's not really the truth it's really something else if not presenting themselves to be one thing when in fact they're a different kind of person completely i feel like for a lot of you there's some sense of somebody trying to fool you or distract you or throw up a kind of a smoke screen now the seven of cups is or or just what you're being or you're being cautioned um especially if you're trying to negotiate a deal or something, you're being cautioned to make sure that everything is as it is being presented to be. Um, do all your research, do all your homework. That seven of cups is paired with the king of swords. And I feel like this is you for a lot of you. It's your energy or definitely energy that you're being asked to manifest. It's air energy, which is your element, Libra. Uh, the king of swords. So swords is air energy and it's it's mental, cerebral, intellectual. It's, it's about what goes on up here. Words, ideas, communications, uh, thoughts, our outlook and perspectives, belief systems, how we look at things, how we think about things. The king of swords is somebody who's at the top of his game. He's reached a mastery of his suit. Uh, the court cards of the suit of swords are, they're fact finders. They're all about seeing the truth, the reality of a situation, and a king certainly is. This is somebody who does not act based on his emotions or feelings. He's not spontaneous and impulsive. He does his homework, his research. He he learns about everything. He discovers, uh, you know, he, he's all about finding out the truth of a situation and making his decision based on that. Um, a thoughtful, considering every possible outcome before he takes action on something. Very clear thinking, very smart, educated, wise. It's about seeing the clarity and wisdom and truth of a situation, which is what you're going to need to overcome this energy of the Seven of Cups, this kind of illusionary or smoke screen or too many options. Make sure that that everything that you find out the truth of and the facts of whatever the situation because the outcome is going to depend on it and i think because you're your your energy you're an air sign anyway i think that your the character traits which are inherent to a lot of you air signs are going to serve you well um seeking truth insight clarity um making sure that everything is what it's supposed to be the truth of a situation coming out because it feels like there's a lot of illusion in here uh, with whatever this situation is and uh you're also being uh, you're going to triumph and achieve uh success you're going to reach the pinnacle of this by by manifesting those character traits and by standing firm too there's a sense of not compromising uh beyond what you're you feel you're able to do standing by and protecting and defending some whatever this is because it feels like you've invested a lot into it or you have a lot at stake with this because next to that seven of cups and king of swords we have the major arcana card of the world beautiful card paired with the seven of wands so the world is a great card it's a card of completion it's the last card in the tarot it's reaching uh, a completion stage, you've finished something, or you've, you've climbed the top of a mountain uh, that's been particularly significant. It's taken a lot of work to get to the top of that. And the world card is that sense of empowerment you get from realizing um, 
that you've reached the pinnacle of something or that you've come so far on a very important journey. The world card is about taking time to look back over your path and reflect on something, reaching a very important uh, kind of signpost or actual completion and looking back at everything that it took to get you there, everything you went through, everything you invested in it, all of your talent, skills, uh, uh, acknowledging what you've done, what you you perhaps didn't know you were capable of, and wondering what you might yet be capable of in the future. It's a great card. It's a card of self-empowerment and self-awareness as well, um, of feeling very strengthened and acknowledging uh, your own value and strength as a human being um, in reflecting how far you've come with whatever this is that's representative. And for some of you, if this is a, a relationship issue or break, particularly some of you, I feel that somebody's accused you of something or taken something out of context. It's, it's a relationship issue. Perhaps you're reflecting back over the history of the relationship. The same thing with business, career, or project. It's about kind of reflecting back over the history of it, everything that you've put into it, uh, what's it all coming to, seeing the truth of it really and what part that you've played in this as well. But standing firm and standing in your own empowerment because the world card is paired with the seven of wands which is somewhat of a defensive energy. Uh, it's a card about standing up for yourself or for somebody else, protecting, defending, and guarding something that you've invested a great deal in that you feel a sense of ownership in because that's what this man is doing. He's standing in front of the door to his home, his castle, his keep, or whatever it is the situation is, whether it's an actual tangible project, a relationship, or uh, a, a, a lawsuit, a litigation issue, where there's you know two actual sides to it. It's about standing firm and not compromising um, what your place in this situation is because you feel very strongly about what it is and you're being you're standing by it quite firmly or you're being asked and advised to stand by it quite firmly don't compromise don't give in um, don't negotiate on what you what you know to be right and true for yourself. That's what this card represents, this defensive card. I feel like for a lot of you, it's its a defensive issue. It's You've been put in a position somehow to defend yourself. But for others of you, it's going to be more of a business sort of contract negotiation deal. Just make sure that you don't get yourself locked into something um, that you find out more details later that you didn't take the time to find out about now. And taking the time to draw on your own experience and your own uh, work, the effort that you've put into this is going to serve you well. But above all, uh, don't give in and don't give up uh, uh, too much of yourself. There's a sense of standing your ground or standing firm. So I'll have to see what your feedback is on this for those of you for whom this resonates. And it looks like you sail through it uh, quite beautifully at the end of the month because at or towards the end of December 2016, Libra, we have the Six of Swords paired with the Eight of Cups. Both cards which represent moving away from something. For some of you, um, you're overcoming something. Whatever this is, it's a real sense of achievement and a sense of completion for you because you have been strong, because you have stood up for something or you've stood by something that you believe very strongly in or you worked very hard for or just your character in general. And at or towards the end of the month, there's a there's a moving from this troubled, chaotic, turbulent time into a smoother, peaceful, more serene time. That's what the Six of Swords represents. It can, it can represent actual travel. Uh, perhaps some of you are actually taking a trip or traveling and the trip itself brings you a sense of recuperation, peace, restoration, healing, or it brings you clarity of some kind. Uh, but even just in an energetic way, it means moving out of uh, uh, waters which are very wavy and choppy and turbulent and into a time that's more settled, more peaceful, more serene. There's a strong theme of of uh, healing and, and recuperation and restoration in this card. It's transitional energy. It, it You haven't quite got to that uh, place where it's completely done and over or it could just be lingering effects, but you're moving towards that. Um, whatever this is, is passing by the end of the month. Now, the Six of Swords is paired with the Eight of Cups, which is a card of walking away. Some of you, um, this, this moving away, um, at the end of the month, you're, you're actually going to be leaving something behind, a situation behind, a relationship behind, 
ideal perhaps, um, or just maybe a conflictive situation with somebody else, if not a legal issue, um, which gets resolved around the end of the month. Because the Eight of Cups is a card of leaving. Again, we have cups, we have that water energy, emotions, feelings, relationship. This man has turned his back on whatever these eight cups represent. He's tasted or drunk from most of them, if not all of them. And while he may have found them distracting or interesting or promising at first, he's reached the end of them and discovered that it's not what he wants. There's a sense of disappointment, disillusionment. Um, this isn't your fulfillment. This isn't what you want. So you've made your decision to turn your back quite decisively and leave it behind. Um, this man has turned his back. He's dressed for travel. He has his hat on, his cloak on. He's already made the decision to leave. He's just contemplating what direction to go into. So at or towards the end of December 2016, Libra, it feels as if you're leaving this behind. Some of you, it's a very conscious decision. You're cutting yourself free from something. Um, you may not know exactly what direction you're going in, but you're knowing, you know that you're moving forward. You know that you're moving away from uh, whatever negative and conflictive energy that's been going on, um, even if you don't know exactly what direction you're going to go in. There's a, a kind of a quiet, maybe a little somber, but but still positive, healing, peaceful, s serene time. And I'm happy to see that for you. Now, your crowning card is the major arcana card of strength. Uh, this is a beautiful card to have. This is a card that pairs well with that world card too. It's it's about, um, you know, self-empowerment, self-awareness, the strength that comes from, from facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, wrestling with your demons and overcoming them because this woman has tamed this lion, this wild beast, which is symbolic for this situation, uh, whatever fears, doubts, insecurities uh, you might have had. It's about facing those, wrestling with them, walking through them, and coming out the other side with your head held high and being able to stride forward courageously into the future as this woman is doing. It represents a quiet but very strong kind of inner grounded strength. It's a beautiful card overall, and that is your overall energy for the month. Um, so a powerful reading, Libra. Uh, so for those of you, whatever the situation is, um, it's going to play out differently because there's a lot of you watching. But whatever it is, your your strength and beauty and uh, your your sense of who you are and self empowerment and your your refusal to give in and to compromise on what you know to be right and true and yours is going to serve you well. Also, make sure to uh, to draw on your those uh, your own character traits, those air sign qualities about seeing the truth. Don't make any hasty decisions based on feelings or emotions. Make sure you look at everything, do your research and homework if there's any decisions to be made. Again, that will serve you well. And it looks like at the end of the month, you're going to be moving away from any conflictive or negative energy at all into a, a much quieter and more healing period. So Libra, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I hope you've at least found it useful that it's given you a little bit of clarity and insight on how to walk through December. Um, because that's why we do these readings. And again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me or as a gift for somebody else for the holiday season uh, or afterwards, you can uh, click on the About sign on my YouTube channel's homepage. And you can always email, email me directly at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be very happy to work with you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the December 2016 mid-month readings. And until then, as always, always. I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Thanks so much for watching, Libra, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.